The Sash, Part 2. This is Chewbacca. He's the current intergalactic leather Wookiee. It's a pretty big deal. But while he's ridden around on the Sash for most of my title year, he's not officially part of the Sash. This is the International Leather Boy Sash. I'm taking care of it for now, but on Labor Day weekend I'll be handing it over to someone else. I maintain that it's the heaviest sash in the world. If not, it's one of them. To be precise, it weighs three and a quarter pounds with maybe an extra ounce or two of bodily fluids on it at any given moment. A majority of that weight has to come from the chain on the back. The International Leather Sur Sash has a leather and Velcro strap, but boys are either made of hardier stuff or I guess they should always be getting punished or something, I don't know. The front has an emblem that used to be on the International Drummer Boy Sash, which is a nice nod to the roots of this title. Next to it, and adding to the weight, are 1,776 metal studs spelling out International Leather Boy, although people have repeatedly dropped the word Mr. in there somewhere as they read it. Now, speaking of metal studs, the back has a list of previous winners from Jose through Gator. Fun fact, this adds to the physical and psychological weight of the sash. When I talk about this title, I tell people that I come from a long legacy of sluts, and I don't think any of these men would disagree with that. Probably have too much cock in their mouth to disagree with it anyway. When I look at the sash, I think about my ILSB ICBB class and the classmates of the previous winners who put themselves out there hoping for the chance to put their mark on it. And I think about how privileged I am to be one of the 14 men lucky enough to do so even if it is a bit awkward and unwieldy, which, now that I think about it, is kind of appropriate for me. Thanks for listening.